performance by Skip James certainly ranks among my favourite blues recordings. An original composition and one of the most haunting of blues ballads, this is I'm So Glad, recorded in New York in 1964. I'm so glad that I am glad I am glad I am glad I don't know what to do on what to do, I don't know what to do. I'm tired of weeping, tired of moaning, tired of groaning for you. And I'm so glad, I am glad, I am glad. I'm tired of weeping, tired of moaning. I'm so glad 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 I don't know what to do, so what to do, I don't know what to do. Hey, I'm so tired, and I am tired, I am tired. And I'm so glad, I am glad. I don't know what to do, what to do, I don't know what to do. I'm tired of weeping, tired of mourning, tired of groaning for you. You know, I'm so glad, yeah, I am glad, I am glad, I'm Good morning. 
man that I've grown into. I am so glad. I am glad. I am glad. I don't know what to do. What to do? Don't know what to do. Now we turn back the clock for recordings by another giant of the Delta Blues, Blind Willie McTell. McTell, like all the artists we have heard this evening, began recording pre-World War II, although, unlike Sun House and Skip James, he achieved a greater measure of fame from his earlier recordings. He recorded for Atlantic, Victor, Decca and Columbia, and, in addition to Blind Willie McTell, employed a number of other pseudonyms, including Barrel House Sammy, Georgia Bill, and, my personal favourite, Pig and Whistle Red. Like many of his contemporaries, he led a difficult life, plagued by alcoholism, poverty, and prison. Blind Willie McTell did not live to be rediscovered during the early 1960s folk blues revival. However, he did leave behind a durable body of work that has been appreciated by many blues and rock fans. He died of alcohol-related causes in 1959. The first recording we will hear is Dying Crapshooter's Blues. Little Jesse was a gambler, night and day. He used crooked cards and dice. Sinful guy, good hearted, but had no soul. Heart was hard and cold like ice. Jesse was a wild, reckless gambler, won a gang of change. Although many gamblers are, he led in pain. Began to spend and lose his money, began to be blue. Sat and all alone, his heart had even turned stone. What broke Jesse's heart while it was blowing all alone? Sweet Loreen had packed up and gone. Police walked up and shot my friend Jesse down. Boys, I gotta die today. He had a gang of crap shooting gowns at his bedside. He had the words he had to say. Yes, I ought to know exactly how I wanna go. How you wanna go, Jesse? Eight crap shooter to be my Paul Baron. Let them be veiled down in black. I want nine men going to the graveyard, Bubba, and eight men coming back. I want a gang of gamblers gathered around my coffin's side. Crooked card printed on my hearse. Don't say the crap shooters will ever grave over me. A life been a doggone curse. Send poker players to the graveyard. Dig my grave with the ace of spades. I want 12 polices in my funeral march. I shall have playing blackjack lead the parade. I want the judge and solicitor who jailed me 14 times. Put a pair of dice in my shoes. Then what? Let a deck of cards be my tombstone. I got the dying crab shooter's blues. 16 real good crab shooters. 16 bootleggers to sing a song. 16 racket men gambling. Cover ten board while I'm rolling along. He wanted 22 women out of the Hampton Hotel. 26 off a side bell. 29 women out of North Atlanta. No, little Jesse didn't pass out so swell. His head was aching, heart was thumping. Little Jesse went to hell, bouncing and jumping. Folks don't be standing around old Jesse crying. He wants everybody to do the Charleston while he dying. One foot up, a toenail dragging. Throw my buddy Jesse in the hoodoo wagon. Come here, mama, with that can of booze. The dying crap shooters leaving the world. The dying crap shooters going down slow. With the dying crap shooters blues. That was Blind Willie McTell performing Dying Crap Shooters Blues. This was recorded near the end of his life for the Prestige Bluesville label and can be found on the excellent Prestige Bluesville sampler. Our next recording, The Drive Away Blues, dates back to the 1940s and can be found on the Statesboro Blues compilation, which is number 43 in the excellent Blues Collection series. (laughs) 